everyone, it's David Tutera, in case you didn't know. I'm here in Houston and I'm doing your wedding experience presented by myself. And if you aren't able to make it this time, I will be back in Houston and it's a place to come to learn everything that you want. It's great to spend time with you and I'll see you next time in Houston. Oh my goodness, your wedding experience, I think that's awesome for you to bring it here in Houston. Thank you. What are you going to tell these brides? I mean, you deal with, I can't even imagine. I yeah, can. we don't have enough time to tell you what I do deal with. Yeah, so continue the imagination. <laughs> All right. You know, this this whole project, your wedding experience, has been um, a passion for me. I've been working on it for several years. I'm so delighted that our second city is Houston, Texas, and we will be back next year, which we're very excited about. It's been um, a great experience so far for us. But here's the thing: there are there are, there is an overabundance of information for consumers, which are couples getting married. There's no lack of information. The problem is there's so much information yes. that, that everyone's confused, overwhelmed, misguided. Um, there's also now, since I've been doing this for 30 years, there's an abundance of vendors in the business as well, which is a good thing. However, it's important for couples to be finding the right vendor for them. And that means expertise, that means understanding what you want as a couple. Right. And this experience here, your wedding experience, will allow all couples to walk in and have fun, most importantly. Learn, which is of course as important, and see things that they wouldn't typically expect to see at a wedding show. And the fact is, is that the bridal industry is a good four to eight years behind mainstream runway fashion. That'll never catch up, but my goal is to get it as close as possible, which won't be that close, because this industry is not evolving as quickly. Now, here's the other things that will happen. You have a perfumery bar here, so girls can go and make their own custom perfumes. There is uh, a, a wonderful food area that looks like an old-fashioned butcher uh, <laughs> butcher shop, which has got some in interesting canopies and foods to sample. There's food trucks. There's things for the guys to do. Um, Keith Carlos is going to be on the runway, which, come on, when do we see an actual real model for the women to see in men's fashion? So this is what I'm talking about. It's a show, it's, it's an experience, it's a place to learn, and it's a place to see things. For example, there's gonna be multiple designers creating sweetheart tables, and they're competing against each other. So you've got the vendors competing against each other, and then you've got the consumer learning through the competition of the vendors. And then the Texas Association of Floral has this entire massive booth of six different designs created with a specific style. So, for example, let's say you're getting married and you don't know what style bride you are, we're going to help you figure out what style bride you are and at the same time teach you about flowers and understand the flowers that would be best suitable for you for your bouquet. Wow, that's so amazing. So I am looking forward to that. How are you taking this to the next You know, my, you always do. I am. I'm always looking how to continue to build a brand. Um, and building the brand, of course, is a great business, but it's always trying to find what's missing in the, in the atmosphere for consumers that are looking to spend money on an affordable budget. Right. So I continue to grow the bridal business. I continue to grow fashion. There's a lot of surprises coming out for 2016 and 17. And it's just the continuation of being on television. I will always do television if the fans welcome me to want to do What's it. What's on the horizon for me is the most important thing, which yeah. is not the answer you're going to want, <laughs> is that I love being a dad. And you know, me having a daughter yeah. is two, and me getting a chance to leave you sitting here and go home from Houston to Los Angeles after your wedding experience and spend time with my daughter right. is really what's on my focus in my future. That's amazing. You're going to return next year. We right? are. We, we, we confirmed that we're returning to Houston because you have been so welcome in opening your arms up to us. Right. Uh, we'll, we'll be back. So if you're not getting married now, you'll be getting married then. <laughs> Guys, we're checking out here your wedding experience with David's Tucker. <laughs>